All right, so first thing you want to do is make sure that you actually have USDT BSC or BEP20 with BNBS gas in one of your wallets. Now, the trust wallet is what you're using to push it over to the Fusion Experience. But in order to get it in there, you can use multiple different ways to do it. So first thing I do is go to Exodus, right? And I want to show you something right quick. So in Exodus, let's go to, um, so we want to find USDT uh, BEP20, right? So that's the first thing. And so you say, well, I don't see it. All right, no problem. Let's go up here to the right. Hit that little search button. So you hit the search and you go USDT, all right? And you say USDT, you got AVAX, you got Ether. BSC, we got TRX, so, so on and so forth. So you see right there, you got the BSC. So let's click on that. Okay. USDT BSC. <clears throat> now you can see the little symbol right there at the top. That's the right one. All right. So uh, I haven't done much with it, but I just want you to know that I normally go in and swap around. So how do you do that? So let's say you just added that. Right. That's how you that's how you add a token, a coin. You add that crypto and now you want to you got some. Let's say you got some USDT ERC 20. OK, let's do this. Let's hit the swap. Right. The purple button. You hit the swap and it says, OK, USDT, that's your ERC 20 because of the little symbol. See the symbol in the black right on top of the green. Then you can say I need some USDT BSC or BEP 20, which is the same thing. All right, this is in your exodus. So this is my little bank. So I would take that and say, okay, I want to get, um, let's say, how much you want to get? Oh, well, let's do this first. I want to do TRC. All right, so they're going to do TRC. Let's say we want to do a thousand. Okay, so that's a thousand nine seventy six. That means that I'm going to pay basically twenty seven dollars. 27 37 like $37 just to exchange from USDT to USDT that is ridiculous but guess what to me it is the price of doing business it's an expense and I'll make it up on the back end it's easy it's simple I just hit swap and it swaps that's what I do make it easy all right just swap now it says you know in less than 30 minutes I should have my USDT BSC, and then we're going to move it over to Trust Wallet. Okay, so I hit that button. And so, what you want to do, you can go back and then you can look at your USDT, you got BTC, BNB, so on and so forth. Right? The only way to know if it's there is I open it up and I can scroll down and I can say, Okay, I'm swapping, and it says swap, so it's still moving, so nothing's gone yet. When it actually has completed, then it'll say swap. And that will stop basically moving. But then I'll know that it's there. Now, so let's go back over here. And let's say if I wanted to send, see that down at the bottom? BNB Smart Chain, right? 1036. So it's already there. It only took like two minutes. So while we're sitting here talking, it is actually populated. How cool is that? That's why I like Exodus. Because it doesn't take forever. They just get it done for you. All right. I paid $37, but hey, it moved quick. So now that I have it here, now I'm going to go and do something else. So that's there. So we know it's there. Now, what we want to do is we want to back out of that. And I'm going to go to my trust wallet. You see, I got it right next to it, right? That's where you put your apps. You don't be playing no games. So just put your app right next to it. And then you want to scroll down. And I already have USDT BEP20 right there. You want to know, how did I get it there? Well, let's go back here. So let's say you don't have USDT BEP20 in there. Well, you go right up here to the top right, the little lines. You hit that, and it says search. So if I put in USDT, it gives me all USDT. As you can tell, I already have it highlighted. Right there, the second one, USDT BEP20. As you notice. In Exodus, it says USDT BSC, but over here, it's USDT BEP20. Already got it checked, so I'm good. So I'm going to go back. It's right there. So all I need to do now 
Let's make sure I got BNB. So I got $35 of BNB. That's enough gas to move it wherever it needs to go. Right? You see the zeros. That means that those are transactions. Okay? Didn't use it. I used USDT BEP20. The transactions were zero, basically. Negligible. All right. So I'm going to go down here where it says USDT BEP20. And I'm going to hit receive. I hit receive. And then it says copy. Okay? So I can copy or I can actually use the QR code. But for right now, I'm just going to copy. Okay, I hit copy again just to confirm because sometimes it doesn't go. I hit reseal, you know, go back, go back, right? Now I'm going to go to my Exodus. So I go back over to my Exodus, okay? We know the funds have landed, so we go here, all right? And I want to send. I go all the way down to BNB, BSC. There's my USDT BSC, which is the BEP20, all right? So with that being said, I want to send what? Oh, let's say we'll send 950. All right, let's do that. So we send 950. It's going to be 951. It's got about a dollar there. No problem. And guess what? Now you got to make sure that you have some BNB in your Exodus wallet as well. Because when you transfer it over, it's going to charge a dollar. And then when it gets into Trust Wallet, and then I'm going to deposit it into Fusion experience, then there may be a dollar less fee there. Okay. Normally it's about 0, 0.0 something. All right. So we got that in there. We hit that. And then I'm just going to tap that in. All right. So now I have the USDT. Now, just so you know, all your USDT uh, links will look the same. Just so you know. Now, if you want to check it, you just go back. You can always click out, go back and look just to confirm. USDT, EP20, receive, yep, 992. All right, I know it's right. Then I'm going to go back over here and hit that button, hit send, slide. And now it's sent. Okay, so that's going. So while that's going, then we click off. And we know that that's moving. Now I can go back over here and I can check my. USDT BEP20. Right now, we know that it's traveling, right? So we're going to let it travel. And in a few minutes or a few seconds, I don't know, it takes whatever time it takes, it should arrive in here while we're talking. All right, so we know that that's there. Now, you want to go to your wallet. Uh, I mean, go to your Fusion Experience. You can go to, you click on the browser. You see the one that's highlighted at the bottom, the four buttons. That's your browser. And you see I already have Fusion Experience in there. So I click on Fusion Experience. Okay. Then we let that run. Then we put in our information. Okay. All right. All right. So we're back. All right. So as you know, we want to go ahead and connect our wallet. And then we want to go ahead and make this deposit. So let's go to our browser. Okay. So we know that's the first step, right? And then we need to connect with Fusion. So as you can see, I have it here, but I'm going to go uh, and I'm going to show you. If you don't have it already, already connected, you can do this. You just type in Fusion Experience. Okay. And you should be able to experience the experience. All right. So as long as we get Fusion X. All right. So we got Fusion I can't spell. Oops. I'm sorry about this. I should be able to knock this out pretty quick. Uh, all right, fusionexperience.io. We hit it. All right, so we have to log in. All right, so when I hit the log in, I put in my credentials. All right, so now we got that. We hit the log in. All right, so we're gonna put our authenticator. We know we have to go get that, right? So let's go get that. Authenticator. No, you can't see it, but it is there. We're going to get that. Okay. Then we come back over here. We log back in. And we put your name right there. Hit authenticate. Now you got to be fast because it might, might, not, might not go. All right. Now we got that in there. Read through that. Make sure you're good with that. And boom. 
we're in. All right. Like I said, you always kind of review what's going on here. I think we talked about that already. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit that button. I'm going to go straight to the account. All right. So you're at the account. I want to make a deposit. Right. So as you can tell, you see this right here. It says wallet address already connected. Why? Because it's my trust wallet. I'm logging in through my trust wallet. Therefore, it already connected. It picked up that that's my trust wallet. Now, right hand corner. You see that little button right there that looks like a little line in the top? When you click on that, it gives you options. So if you see it says Ethereum, it says connect wallet. It does, right? You will never be able to connect your wallet because this is a BSC, Binance Smart Chain, uh, US, USDT BEP20. Therefore, you got to go up there, click on that little diamond, and you go to BNB, BSC. That's when it'll connect your wallet. So if you're having problems connecting your wallet, you may have to just toggle between the two and it will definitely recognize that that's your wallet. It'll connect you instantly. Now, if you want to make a deposit, you come here. All right. And let's see. So right now it says wallet balance. If it's reading your wallet balance, it already knows what you have in there. So you don't have to stress you don't have to figure out it's already there all you gotta do is put in the amount okay so let's go with uh, seven point it's a good number right all right so we got that in okay so now that we got that in we hit the deposit okay and it says approve you have to confirm that that's what you want to do it's going to charge you two dollars and 48 cents click that Confirm. Boom. Deposit is on its way. Okay. So I got a confirmation. And now it's doing its thing. As you can see, smart contract executed. Make sure this you, you trust this site, so on and so forth. Now you got to pay that $2.48. You hit approve. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to ask for a confirmation. You got to go through your trust wallet. Okay. Or your MetaMask or Coinbase wallet. Okay. So this process normally doesn't take that long. You see it says it's sent to 720. Confirm. Now, instead of 834, now I have 1554. Okay. And so right now, since this week is, so it's already working. So that 834 is already in the system. A couple of days then we'll be uh, utilizing the 1554. So you can see everything is in place. You got the actual wallet balance that has increased based on the 700 that I just put in. Now we have, um, you can review, like I said, you can review everything. But at the end of the day, I just wanted to give you kind of a walkthrough of actual account that's actually working that I have not touched in literally like six months. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. All right. So hopefully that helped you out. Hopefully that you can go ahead and make your deposits today, boost up your account, and I will be doing more uh, deposits and less withdrawals over the next three months, and I'll come back and make sure that I provide that information to you. All right. Well, I thank you, and goodbye for now.